After losing the fight of the century, Manny Pacquiao has admitted that he fought Floyd Mayweather, uh, Mayweather with a torn rotator cuff. The injury was suffered in training before the fight, and it's so serious that it could sideline the boxer for up to a year. Now, with this injury, Pacquiao could face charges of perjury. The Nevada Athletic Commission says that Pacquiao failed to disclose the torn cuff on his pre-fight questionnaire. So let's go now to John Burns, an entertainment lawyer in Washington, D.C., for more on this. Good morning, John. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you, Alana. Good morning to you as well. Uh, how bad is this for Pacquiao? I mean, as we said, not only did he lose the fight, but now it looks like they weren't exactly transparent or forthcoming with what was going on. Yeah, this could be huge for Pacquiao for a number of different reasons. I mean, first, from a regulatory standpoint, the Nevada Athletic Commission is taking this very, very seriously, and they could discipline in terms of suspension and other things. But from a from a criminal perspective, and if, if it's deemed he did perjure himself, if it was, if he was knowledgeable that, that that statement was not correct, he could face jail time anywhere between one to four years and up to a five thousand dollar fine as well. What would have to be proved in order for him to actually face jail time? Yeah, that's a difficult burden. So he has to prove that he swore under penalty of perjury that the information was correct to his knowledge. So based upon his knowledge. So if he was knowledgeable of the injury, obviously he'd be hard pressed to say he wasn't knowledgeable. But also to his defense here, his advisor and his lawyer has come out and said it wasn't Manny that filled out the questionnaire. I filled the questionnaire out and it was my mistake, my error, and I'm taking full responsibility for that. But then again, these are Manny's reps. So he therefore can also be liable for anything that they do on his behalf. So it's a number of different things that have to play out. The, uh, Nevada, the, the Nevada Athletic Commission is currently investigating this incident pretty thoroughly. So we'll have more information come out over the next few days. Do you think that that is kind of a, a convenient defense there, you know, to, to have other people and not Manny Pacquiao himself fill out the paperwork? I don't think it's convenient. I think it's pretty typical. Usually you would never have a fighter actually fill the paperwork out. You have reps and you have lawyers and advisors filling that information out for you. But again, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't absolve him of any liability just because someone else filled it out on his behalf because he can still be liable because it's based upon what he knows and what his knowledge is. Got it. Uh, now, you know, of course, often it seems like the rules don't apply the same to everyone, especially if you are someone with the, the status of Manny Pacquiao. What do you think the likelihood is that he would actually be prosecuted? I think it's highly unlikely he'll be criminally prosecuted. I think from a civil standpoint, we've already seen people file lawsuits against him. A class action was filed against him um, for misrepresentation and fraud a few days ago by two Nevada residents who were bringing this action on behalf of individuals who bought the tickets to the fight, who bought to pay-per-view, and who also gambled on the fight because they're claiming that they were all damaged as a result of this misrepresentation. But in terms of a criminal prosecution, I think it's highly unlikely. Um, what do you think that the the merits are there? You know, for for people to be able to to say that they suffered damage as uh, as as fans, maybe people that were betting on the fight. I think for folks who gambled on the fight, I think they definitely have standing because I think if you knew that information, obviously you probably would gamble or wager your money a different way. Perhaps if you bet on Manny, you probably would have bet on Floyd if you knew he was suffering some injury. So I think they definitely have some claim there because that truly was a misrepresentation. And then the Nevada Athletic Commission would have never let that fight go through if they knew he was suffering from a rotator cuff tear. Well, in that sense, uh, you know, this was, whether this, this fight broke all kinds of records. Pay-per-view raked in over $300 million in sales for the fight just that night. Could it become a class action lawsuit? Could everybody that watched it say that it was misrepresented and they were hurt? <laughs> You know what? It, it would, they actually filed this lawsuit, these two Nevada plaintiffs, as a class action. But what has to happen now is the court actually actually has to give class status. And so they have to look at all the potential plaintiffs, the potential damages. I mean, it could be potentially humongous class action lawsuit. But um, from a Floyd Mayweather perspective, he won't be brought in or won't be actually damaged whatsoever. But Manny Pacquiao could face a serious class action lawsuit based upon this uh, misrepresentation.